Hello dear students in the last session we studied the basic terminologies of polymer chemistry in today's session let us learn the mechanism and kinetics of step growth polymerization many naturally occurring polymers such as cellulose starch proteins and synthetic polymers such as polyesters polyamides are all produced by step growth polymerization you know that these polymers which i mentioned now are condensation polymers what are these condensation polymers condensation polymers are the polymers which are formed by the repeated condensation of two bifunctional or multifunctional monomer molecules with the elimination of simple molecules such as water ammonia carbon dioxide etc condensation polymers are usually formed by the stepwise intermolecular condensation of reactive groups and these condensation polymerization is also known as step growth polymerization or polycondensation now let's get into the details of step growth polymerization the name itself is indicating that the reaction takes place in a step wise manner here the bifunctional or multifunctional monomers react to form first dimers then trimers tetramers oligomers and eventually long chain polymers usually this is a slow process and it takes longer reaction time in order to build a polymer molecule with high average molecular weight here i specifically told you that the monomers should be bifunctional or multifunctional do you know why yes here lies the beauty of polymer chemistry let me explain it with the example of esterification reaction you know how an ester will be formed right when an alcohol reacts with a carboxylic acid in the presence of acid catalyst an ester will be formed with the elimination of water so here this is the alcohol functional group and this is the carboxylic acid functional group so these two undergo condensation reaction with the elimination of water and this is the ester functional group this is a an example for classic condensation reaction ega in and question can we prepare polyester by this way yes we can the chemistry of formation for both is same the main difference is that the reactants used for polymer formation are bifunctional instead of monofunctional now let's know why it is so firstly let us 
take the example of monofunctional alcohol that is methyl alcohol monofunctional andre onde one functional group irutte and a monofunctional acid say acetic acid when they undergo condensation reaction they give an ester that is methyl acetate alva observe the structure of this product illi yadadru reactive group idya to continue the reaction further illa so the two reactive groups oh and cooh they undergo reaction to yield an unreactive functional group that is ester so the reaction cannot proceed further so polymer formation agakke agala next e methyl alcohol badlu let's take ethylene glycol you know it's a bifunctional alcohol andre eradu oh group ide odalva when it is made to react with acetic acid enagutte first one oh group acetic acid na cooh group jothege react agutte react agi ethylene glycol monoacetate will be formed so observe this product this molecule still have an active functional group here that is oh functional group ide andre artha eno it can still react with one more molecule of acetic acid anta alva see here that monoacetate molecule takes up one more acetic acid molecule here once again the condensation reaction takes place and ethylene glycol diacetate will be formed iga enaito there is no further reactive groups here observe this product the reaction na continue madodike yavde reactive group illa oh agli athwa cooh agli so here also the polymer cannot be formed next case en irbahudu anta guess martira yes now let's take bifunctional alcohol and a bifunctional acid for example ethylene glycol and adipic acid so iga enagutte here also the oh group of ethylene glycol reacts with the cooh group of adipic acid to give this product so this product still contains two reactive groups nodi e end alli ondu reactive group ide illi inondu reactive group ide avadalva so this oh group can react with another adipic acid molecule and this cooh group can react with the oh group of another ethylene glycol so adhe tara reaction continue aagta hogutte this way they lead lead to the formation of long chain polymer iga artha aita why bifunctional monomers are necessary for polymer formation anta the bifunctional monomers results in linear chain polymer if you take the mixture of bifunctional and trifunctional monomers 
it leads to branched or cross linked polymers then see here the product formed reacts with one molecule of adipic acid and one molecule of ethylene glycol so two molecules of ethylene glycol and two molecules of adipic acid totally four molecules react adha hage aitu it so plain agida so this is the product formed from two ethylene glycol molecules and two adipic acid molecules so this resultant molecule still contains at its ends one hydroxyl and one carboxyl group if more quantities of the ethylene glycol and adipic acid are made available it is capable of forming even a bigger molecule now let's write the overall reaction if n molecules of adipic acid and n molecules of ethylene glycol are taken so this is the polyester the general formula of polyester now we are able to draw few conclusions on polycondensation or step growth polymerization first one the monomers should be bifunctional or multifunctional you know the reason right then the polymerization proceeds by step wise reaction between reactive functional groups then only one type of reaction between functional groups is involved in polymer formation in this case it is condensation reaction then the polymer formed still contains both the reactive functional groups at its chain ends and hence is active and not dead as in chain polymerization let's discuss the kinetics of step growth polymerization in the next video thank you